everybody, this is Maltanan for creativecow.net. Today I want to show you a quick and very practical way of creating a skybox, uh, and actually a sky dome to be more exact. A skybox is a method to easily create a background to make a computer and video games level or After Effects composition in our case look bigger than it really is by creating an illusion of distance three-dimensional surroundings. A sky dome employs the same concept but uses either a sphere or a hemisphere instead of a cube. The simplest and most easy to create and understand case is when you want to create a universe surrounding something floating in deep space. So that's what we're going to create today. Usually it is done by putting a large texture as the back layer in a 3D composition, but it has nothing to do with a skybox or sky dome because if we orbit the camera too far to a side, we'll start to see a background color of our composition. Since that's not what we want, let us create a simple skybox. First, we have to have a star map texture. We can create one in Photoshop, download it from the internet, or create one in After Effects. I'll use an image that I already have, but I'll show you how to create one in After Effects just in case. Create a new comp that is bigger than your output resolution, preferably twice as big. This will lower the distortion when we'll be manipulating the texture. Then, create a new solid by clicking on Layer, New, Solid, and apply Effects, Noise and Grain, Fractal Noise. Now you need to set the scale of the generated fractal down, like so and then adjust brightness and contrast parameters. And there you go, a nice star map in a few simple steps. Okay, now I'll get rid of what we've just created and import my star map and use it instead. Now let's create a new composition and put the star map texture inside. Now go to your effects menu and apply Perspective CC Sphere. Since we want to create an illusion that the sphere is surrounding everything in our composition, set the render parameter to Inside and adjust the radius of the sphere. You may also like to adjust other parameters like lights and shading, but I leave that up to you. After we get the sphere big enough, go to Layer, New, Camera. We also need something we'll orbit around. Text layer will do OK in our case. Go to Layer, New, Text, and type in Skybox, or whatever you like, of course. Remember to turn on the 3D switch on the text layer. Now, when we orbit around our text layer, the sky doesn't move, but we can easily fix that with a simple expression that will apply to each rotation parameter of our sphere. Alt-click on the rotation X and type in look at, open parentheses, this comp, active camera, position, and position, close parentheses, open square bracket, zero, close square bracket. We need to put the same expression with a minor change at the end to all the rotation parameters. So copy what you've just wrote and paste it to other rotation parameters while increasing the number in the square brackets at the end of it, like so. When you're done, you should be able to orbit around our text layer freely and see the sky at all times. And that's what we wanted. Success! Now I've got something special for those of you lucky people who own Trapcode Particular. Oh yes, we're going to go full 3D on this. Reset the camera position and get rid of the skybox layer. Now go to Layer, New, Solid, to create a new solid. Next, go to Effects, Trap Code, Particular. 
as you can see in default settings the particles are moving and we don't want that so go to emitter section and set the velocity to zero we also need to animate the particles per second parameter so we create just one cloud of particles and that's it one burst of particles click on the stopwatch next to the particles per second parameter and on the first frame of the comp set the value to 20,000 or whatever suits you. Just make sure it's big enough to create enough particles. Then move one frame forward and set the value to zero. Next, set the emitter type to sphere and set all emitter size parameters to 100. You don't actually need to do that, but it's easier to see what's going on. Okay, we're almost done. Now go to particle section and set the life attribute to your comp length or maybe more so that the stars don't disappear during the animation. You can also play with the appearance of the particles by adjusting other parameters. I'll cover trap code particular in detail in one of my upcoming tutorials. And now for the final step, go to physics, air, spherical field, set the strength to 100 and radius to whatever value that makes front particles go behind the camera and that's it nice sky dome built in just a few simple steps so that's all for today folks i hope you found this one useful and make sure to visit me at www.maltanan.com to see more of my exciting tutorials for the second time, this is Moltanon for creativecow.net. See ya!